Hi everyone, it's Dylan Dworski, the aka the Hockey Realtor, and I'm with uh, Newark Homes and Living on Facebook. And at Dylan Dworski is my handle on Instagram. Um, and today's topic that I'm going to cover is ten common mistakes by home buyers that that I I've come up with. So um, let's get started. Um, number one is interviewing only one lender and real estate agent. Um, I, I would say that um, you, you should interview um, a couple. It's good to, sh like anything, it's good to shop around um, to see, see what other um, lenders offer you and real estate agents can offer you. And um, I'm saying that and I'm a realtor, so uh, I would rather you just pick me, but, you know, life doesn't work that way. Number two is uh, looking for a home before consulting a mortgage lender. Uh, I think this is a one of the biggest mistakes that home buyers make. Um, I'll, I'll tell you why it's a mistake. Um, let's say you're a home buyer and um, you ha don't know how how much your mortgage is going to be, so you start looking at five hundred thousand dollar houses, and then you get your mortgage and um, they approve you for up to 150,000. Now you're looking at $150,000 houses and you've gotten uh, so attached to $500,000 houses because they're so much nicer that um, 150 won't, won't um, be good enough for you. So that, that, that's, that can be a big mistake. Um, number three is buying more house than you can afford or maintain. So basically, know your budget, and um, ev everybody knows um, to not um, buy more house than you can afford. Uh, and by, what I mean by that is um, there's going to be things that are going to go wrong on, on any house you buy, and you have to be prepared for that. You can't just spend all the money on the house and uh, blow all the money on the house and not have some saved for things that will go wrong, just like in life. Um, that, that's all for that. Uh, number four is mismanaging your finances and or credit before closing. Please, if you're, you go for a mortgage, do not start charging things that will affect your, uh, buying things that will affect your credit or charging things to a card that will affect your credit. And make sure you make all your pay, uh, if you have debt, make sure you pay the debt on time, not a day late, on time. And um, you should be good, um, especially before closing, because um, if they, they could withdraw their mortgage if your credit's not good enough, you know. Anyway, um, number five is overlooking government-backed loan options. So what I mean by that is FHA loans, um, VA loans, USDA loans. They're all um, government backed, and um, they're they're they have advantages that non-government backed loans um, don't have. Let me flip the screen around real quick. Now that I'm in the middle, so that uh, you can see all ten on the screen. Okay, let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. Okay, number six is underestimating the total cost of home ownership. I kind of touched on that earlier, but um, uh, you got to consider all the um, bills that you will have along with the price of the house and um, your mortgage payment and also things that will go wrong. You always have to plan for things that will go wrong. Uh, every everything in life you have to plan for things that will go wrong because they will go wrong. Number seven is not budgeting for closing costs. So closing costs, um, most people um, they vary transaction to transaction, but you should save some of that mortgage money um, for your closing costs because trust me, those lawyers want to get paid at the end of the transaction. So I definitely would um, save money for closing costs. Number eight is making too small of a down payment. So um, if you make too small of a down payment, if it's under 20%, you have to pay PMI, which is private mortgage insurance. 
And um, the less money you put down as a down payment, the, um, the more PMI you'll, you will have to pay per month. So um, not unless you pay 20% of the um, price, that, then you don't have to pay PMI at all. But most people can't afford 20% of the price. So um, you, you'll probably end up having to pay some PMI, but the more you can put down, the better. Um, number nine, only focusing on the home. Yes, that that's I've touched on this a couple times, but that's like um, you're not thinking of um, electric, water, cable, um, all the bills that come with owning a home, um, fixing things. You know, um, when you get when you get kind of tunnel vision and you just go, oh, the ha- the house is uh, fifty thousand, I'll pu- I'll buy it, uh, and you spend uh, the only fifty thousand dollars you have. Um, that's a bad investment. Anyway, and number 10 is not getting your own home inspection. I highly suggest if you're a home buyer, I don't care if you're, it's a mobile home. I don't care what kind of home it is. Um, always get a home, your own home inspection. Um, because I guarantee you the seller's going to have a home inspector come through. And if you're buying a house, you should always have a home inspection done. Okay, that's the the 10 uh, common mistakes I have, but I have one more slide for you guys. Um, So, the most common regrets of first-time homebuyers. One-fifth homebuyers had a regret after closing of this. So, 62% said they outgrew their homes quickly, wished they purchased a larger home. I think everybody wants a larger home, though. Um, 40% felt they paid too much or should have paid a larger down payment. Well, I could see that. Uh, in, uh, if you're looking back at, uh, in hindsight, yeah, yeah. Uh, 38% were surprised how much it costs to maintain a home. Um, yes, that, that uh, I, ha- I know a lot of people, I've talked to a lot of people that um, underestimate how much comes with a home. 34% Wish they negotiated more or found a better mortgage rate. Uh, yeah, I could see that. 25% discovered they didn't like the neighborhood after moving. And 24% had regrets about the yard. So those are the most common regrets of first-time home buyers. Um, with that said, um, that's everything I, I'm going to talk about today. Um, please, if you like this video... Hit the subscribe button below. Um, all of the all my links will be below. Um, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.